Well, Megan, it has been awfully heavy in the last hour. Wet, packing, snow, and yes, easy to make a snowball as a result. So kids, if you thought this winter you didn't really make the great snowman or snowwoman, here's your chance probably in the next 24 hours. You know, I've been talking to folks this evening and I gotta tell you, they were really, really hoping that Storm Team 2 was wrong, but they were right. Whether traveling just a few miles or cross country, people were concerned about getting to their destinations. I'm really cold and I'm kind of afraid about how the roads are gonna be getting and I just hope that everyone's gonna be safe. Tip City turned white after dark. Where Jacob Connor works, there should be more interest in mulch right now than salt, but not this night. I was hoping that it was gonna hit earlier this morning instead of the night, but I'm, it needs to start warming up pretty soon. I'm hoping it does. At the Dayton International Airport, people were choosing rental cars instead of planes, thinking they might beat the storm. This softball team from Rhode Island wasn't sure what they'd face. We would love to beat the storm. Uh, we were a little worried about not being able to get out of here, only because we're not even scheduled to arrive back in Rhode Island until 2 a.m. And we certainly hope that team is able to arrive back at least close to 2 a.m. and, of course, safely. Now, I have been in touch with the airport director all day long, and I just got a text from Terry Slayball. He was nice enough to bring me up to date. Six cancellations so far. These are departures that would have occurred otherwise tomorrow morning, and those six flights have been canceled. Of course, you can always find a link to airport travel on our website, WDTN.com. Reporting live in Miami County, Pam Elliott, 2 News.